Hi guys, this is a Finding Your Tribe video, hashtag 12 tribes of Israel. Let's discuss the tribe of Naphtali. Okay guys, so again, this is for the Israelite, the Hebrew descendants. This is not for the Gentiles. This is a covenant thing. This is not a whole everybody gets this portion. This is simply for the 144,000. And so if you do not believe you have to obey God's laws and commandments, this video is not for you. I usually say this in all the videos because I know the wicked have already clicked off by now. Some of them are so wicked that they'll stay on and listen and then they'll try to go to God. They'll hate us, right? And then try to go to God. Oh, can I be a part? Absolutely not. The answer is no. Okay, guys, this is another um, unproblematic tribe from what I can tell based off of scripture. Again, every tribe has its little things, but this one, there's really not a lot of drama in it. So the video probably won't be long, but let's get started. Genesis 37 through 8 says, And Bilhi, Rachel's maid, conceived again and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. Rachel had Bilhi get pregnant twice in order to spite Leah because Rachel's womb was closed off. And so she was basically being competitive and causing strife against her sister because of her bitterness for her own womb being closed. Now, was this the correct thing to do? Absolutely not. The person who was supposed to bear all of the children for the 12 tribes was supposed to be Leah. But again, Jacob was chasing after his eyes. He was lustful of the eyes and it caused for him to value a wicked woman over somebody that God intentionally wanted him with. So Naphtali, the name basically means struggling and wrestling. When Naphtali was mentioned throughout scripture, it does speak about him having like a warrior spirit and fighting. And so struggling and wrestling, I can see where he actually lived up to his name, where he was constantly struggling, fighting and warring with other nations and overtaking them. So let's go to the blessing, Genesis 49, 21. This is Jacob's blessing. Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth goodly words. So this basically means that, you know, a deer is somebody that can go through different types of terrain and different types of mountain in unstable territory, but still be sure footed. Also, people in this tribe gave good words of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. I will give you a scripture in the next section. So Deuteronomy 33, 23, this is Moses' blessing. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. That came to pass. Now Judges 133 says, Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Bethanoth, but he dwelt among the Canaanites and the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemeth and Bethanoth became tributaries unto them. Okay, so most of these scriptures I'm about to go over, I already went over in majority of the other videos just because Naphtali really was like mentioned with other tribes like it's rare that they were mentioned by themselves so judges 4 10 says and barak called zabulin and naphtali to kadesh and he went up with ten thousand men at his feet and deborah went up with him this tribe actually went out to help deborah there were some tribes that chose not to help and go up to help their family fight because of financial ties with the canaanites judges 5 18 says zabulin and natali were a people that jeopardized their lives unto death in high places of the field. That is something that's very good. You will put yourself on the line to defend other people. Judges 7.23 says, And the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Naphtali and out of Nasher and out of Manasseh and pursued after the Midianites. 1 Kings 7, 13 through 14 says, And King Solomon sent and fetched Haram out of Tyre. He was a widow's son of the tribe of Naphtali. And his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in brass. And he was filled with wisdom and understanding and cunning to work all works in brass. And he came to King Solomon and wrought all his work. So again, in this scripture, you will see that the prophecy that Jacob spoke saying that he will have goodly words. This was a descendant of the Naphtali tribe, and he had a lot of wisdom and understanding, and even King Solomon recognized that. Okay, so let's discuss Naphtali and how good of a warrior they were. Now, I've also mentioned in other videos that Issachar, Zebulun, and Naphtali were very close 
somewhat in age and so you do see them in scripture together a lot like it's rare for certain tribes to just be mentioned by themselves but if it is it's probably because it's an isolated event so let's go over first chronicles 12 38 through 40 it says all these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to hebron to make david king over all israel and all the rest also of israel were of one heart to make david the king now, again, it's very important for you guys to understand, like when Israel was completely together and they were, you know, on the same page, things were just absolutely amazing. When there is a house divided, that is when the issues come. So this is a really good story to see that, you know, the tribes and all of the men were actually vouching for David at that time. Verse 39 says, and there they were with David three days eating and drinking for their brethren had prepared for them. More Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Issachar, Zebulun, Naphtali, brought bread on asses, on camels, on mules, on oxen, and meat mills, cakes of figs, bunches of raisins, wine, and oil, and oxen, and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel. So as you can see that these three tribes were celebrating together, this wasn't just these three, but it was everybody, but they put these three in the same you know, scripture, because again, these three were very, very close together. Okay, so characteristics of Naphtali descendants is you give good words of wisdom, knowledge, and advice. You guys are spiritual and physical warriors, always ready to fight and go to the forefront. You are valued by kings for battle and for wisdom. So you may have people reach out to you just to just get your advice and just, you know, what your idea or insight is on something. Definitely a bunch of well-rounded, no drama type of person. Very low key, guys, to be completely honest. You're definitely close with the Zebulun descendants because you guys are mentioned quite a few um, together in scripture so that is very significant but also i want to point out that you guys are very kind of mysterious like because it's like you see you in scripture but you really don't really hear much about you which is good that means you were low-key very drama free but you were very very important so remember that I also want to add on top of that, you may be someone that values privacy because, again, there's not a, m a lot of scripture on you guys specifically in the Bible. Even though there's not as many scriptures describing this specific tribe, the little bit of scripture that is in there is positive. So that is very telling. OK, so ways to help you with your mantle is that you can pray that God may protect you against any and all physical and spiritual warfare you may experience. Pray that God may continue to allow you to be private yet highly valuable to the kingdom. Ask God to continuously give you good words of wisdom to provide to those around you. Make sure you fast on a regular slash monthly basis and read your Bible and soak into the word daily for higher revelation. And then eat clean and take more fruits, vegetables, and waters. Again, just a reminder, only 12,000 from this tribe will be chosen to be set apart. And the standards are high for these people. So again, this tribe is very simple. I wouldn't say that they're inferior to the other tribes. I would just say they're very much more private and more to themselves. And then they just come out and act whenever they need to. They don't really put on a whole show and everything, which is why I couldn't really... I mean, I could sit here and play around and just like add on extra stuff onto the video, but that's not it. That's not it. That's not godly. So... If you think you're a descendant of the Natali um, tribe, please take this video to the Lord and also do not allow for this to be your only form of confirmation. Allow for God and Holy Spirit to confirm this to you in other ways as well. So that's all I have and God bless.